You're listening to an extracurricular episode of Book Club Schmook Club, where in between book reviews, I, Kristen Rogers Anderson, and my brother, Will Rogers, go off book and talk about whatever is on our minds. We only keep one bonus episode in the free public feed at a time. So in two weeks, when the next extracurricular episode comes out, this particular episode will disappear. However, if you go to patreon.com slash talkbomb and set up a monthly donation, you'll have full access to every bonus show we've ever released, past, present, and future. You can follow us on Twitter and Instagram under the usernames at Chillin' Kristen and at Haunted Sponge. Book Club Schmook Club is available on iTunes, Stitcher, or wherever you get your podcasts. Welcome to Book Club Schmook Club. I'm Kristen. I'm William. And we are back with an extracurricular episode where we're just going to talk about <laughs> whatever we want. I'm William. Okay, I'm William. <laughs> what? That's a parody of That's Not Good. Okay, That's Not Good. <laughs> oh my God. From The Dark Knight. The only way that's a parody is just the inflection. That's just the way it sounds. I know, but you like know how people saying have face I'm, blindness? Willi- I'm William. You know how people have face blindness? Yeah. If you have like kind of word blindness, you can only pick up on tone, inflection, and speed and stuff, you would know what that was. I'm William. Okay, I'm William. Or if you heard someone do that in another language, I bet I would I bet know I would. that in every language. <laughs> well, you and I talk about that a lot. Yeah. So Bobby probably. and I did a whole segment once on Will and Bobby Know Everything, ranking things from that's not good to okay, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> Which one is it? Frequently they were, okay, that's not good. Yeah. Anyway. Is that better? I don't know. Yeah. I think it's the same. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because he's just reaffirming. He's like, that's not good. No, it's not. Confirmed it's not. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I think, so it's a, I think it means the same thing. Yeah. But yeah, we built a whole scaling system. Yeah. That's excellent. Okay. I have something I've been wanting to talk about for weeks. For weeks. And I would just forget or something else would be happening that we had to talk about because it's more timely or, or something. Or we would just lose shows. This is going to be the uh, first extracurricular show in over a month because we uh, keep losing shows. No experimentation with uh, audio here. Kristen's mic is on. We're not losing so, this one. Oh, excuse me. Hey, oh, we may lose. <laughs> Kristen oh, might just flat yeah. out fall asleep, apparently. So annoying. Yeah. Sorry about that last it's time, guys. It's not fun losing a show. Ugh. No. Anyway, yeah, our last extra extracurricular episode was lost because I turned my mic off. Yeah. So apologies. Um, but even on those, we didn't talk about this. Yes. So actually, now I'm glad that we didn't. Because yeah, you're right. I'm glad that it's not lost. We had so false there's, starts. There's a reason yeah. that I keep forgetting. Guys, if you're in the Book Club Schmook Club Facebook group, I've talked about my favorite show on television, and it's called The Low Files. Rob Lowe, mm-hmm. his two sons. One John has- Owen. John Owen. And Matthew. John Owen is a single person. Yep. That is one human. He goes John by Owen. Johnny, though, sometimes. It's not a name like... Uh, like uh, It doesn't flow very well. Like BJ. Yeah. What's another name like that? Uh, TJ. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, you know, sometimes you'll have, like, a hyphenated name. And yeah. So you, got, you got, like, two first names. You go by your first and middle name or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. John Owen. It's unusual. It's like just being like, hi, I'm Peter Matthew. <laughs> Like it doesn't flow. It doesn't flow right. That's worse. I've gotten used to John Owen. Actually, it doesn't throw. It doesn't flow right at first listen. Yeah, it's a little hard on the ear at first less listen. But I've gotten used to John Owen. Okay, fair enough. Listen, John Owen. Okay. You, wow. Right. Wait. Do it again. John Owen. Wow. It works. Right. That's amazing. But doesn't it sound a little softer on the ear the more you think about it? Yeah. John Owen. Yeah. John yeah. Owen. Yeah. Um. Okay. So they unite these three. Mm-hmm. It's Rob Lowe and those are his two sons. The I don't triumvirate. know if you said that. <sighs> To, to form a show called The Low Files, where these guys go on the road to investigate mysterious happenings, such as the Sasquatch or Wood Ape. Yeah. Um, which are the same thing as well. Yes. Yeah. Um, Area 52. Yeah. Which is an Area 51-like place, obviously. They moved it because too many people, the general populace, has been flooding Area 51. Uh-huh. And so the, the government built a separate super-secret facility, Area 52. <sighs> They do ghost investigations. Yeah. Guys, the show was so sweet. I want to talk about current tense because I want to believe that it's coming back. I've had no indication that it is. Has first season ended? The Yes. So the first season ended last week, 
But there's a special bonus episode tonight of bloopers and things. Yo. Can't wait to see that. I am behind. And I follow all of the lows on Twitter now. And I believe it. So you got the low down. I believe it was John Owen. He tweeted by accident that tonight on Wahlburgers A&E that they would be coming back together for one more thing. I think he must have searched for A&E. And he also follow, follows Wahlburgers or something and then That's clicked the on the wrong. Marcus Wahlburger show. Marcus Wahlburger. What's his name? Mark Wahlberg. Incredibly, so pretty close. Incredibly famous person. That was pretty close. They makes it sound like you don't know who he is. And you're just like, yeah, I don't know. That Marcus Wahlberg. I couldn't, think, I couldn't think of his name. I know. There are also <laughs> multiple of them. Well, yeah, that's where it comes in. There's Donnie, Mark, and I guess some other brother. Oh, my God. The Low Files is the same as the Wahlburgers show. No. Because it's, it's multiple of the same family members. Yeah, but those are brothers, William. This is Rob Lowe and his two sons. Two of them. Two of the three people on the show are brothers. I don't care. Anyway. It's not the same. So anyway, John I've Owen, actually never seen Wahlburgers, so I don't, this, it's not a hill for me to die on that makes a lot of sense. Nah, I but um, I don't think so. So the 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 John Owen, mm-hmm. John Owen Lowe, yep, J O Lowe, yep, oh, hmm. that's weird. Yeah, uh, tweeted that he was going to be on Wahlburgers. Well, by and, yeah, yeah, yeah by he mistake. was he was right. like the he was like so we have one last special treat for you guys yeah. on Wahlburgers A A E tonight. Maybe bloopers or whatever. Maybe he is in charge of the <sighs> Low Files official Instagram. Guys, I almost so I know this is irrational. I'm going to say it in a second. I almost don't want to talk about it because I don't want it to change. Now, I know it's irrational because we don't have that kind of reach or anything. No. But it's so good. You have no power here. <laughs> it's so good. The wall – I was going to say wall burger. See, it is confusing. Yeah. The Low Files Instagram page. Okay, so I started watching the show. I loved it so much and I followed everything that I could. The Low Files Instagram page seems to be run by somebody who does not have like – it's not like a, a slick, polished – like social media engineer run yeah. account. It's pictures that still have like the Getty images watermark on them. <laughs> and then they have like a typo. That's like who excited for tonight's episodes. Like things <laughs> exclamation like, point. Yeah. Yeah. Instead question of question mark. mark. It's so weird. It's and like good. every post. Yeah. It's insane. Completely. So I showed Will and I was like, who do you think is doing this? Is it Rob Lowe? Like is it one of the sons? And, um, then Rob Lowe posted an, an Instagram where he had a weird typo. So I was like, could this actually be Rob Lowe? Could be. And like the sons are both in law school or something. So I don't really think that it's them. But uh, of course now this Wahlburgers, you know, accident tweet calls that into question just a little bit. It makes me think John Owen. Maybe the Lowe boys are in control of the official account. Maybe. Curious maybe. phrasing, so that's bad punctuation. My, my low file is discovering who – yeah. Is in charge of the low file to Instagram. Sleuthing. Exactly. You're a regular Atticus Prud. I'm a regular John Owen Lowe. Yeah. Who's the other son? What's Matthew. his name? Matthew Lowe. Mm-hmm. Um, they did an episode, mm-hmm. maybe one of my favorite things, just for anybody who has not seen the show Guys, who needs an encapsulation of what the show is, is like. This is not me. We're not being sarcastic or facetious, like, oh, this, like, you have to check out the show. It's so weird. So, like, it is a little corny and everything, but it's so fun and sweet. Plus, yeah. Spooky and mysterious, which is like some of our favorite kind of stuff. Right. So it is really like the perfect show. Yes. I love it so much. Rob Lowe is so charming. Yeah, he's great. He is so nice and he's such a dork. He is a dork. I find it so endearing. I die when I'm watching it. I'm probably so annoying to watch it with because I always just, I'm turning to Ryan like, oh, because Lolo. Well, I, I'm exaggerating. Did a you hear bit. what Lolo said? But they, I call him Lolo. They catch him doing these little smiles where he looks so genuinely thrilled about what's yeah. going on he's just like yeah i know <laughs> it's so he cute. still does have a weird mouth though he does it's very like, like flat to the rest ruby of his red face. lips well he's a very manicured guy he's yeah. very tan he's got like highlights yeah like he's, just, he's, very he's a movie cute. star man. he's a movie star but, so and that's part of what's so endearing is that he's like so famously good looking and like he's a good looking guy he's like you know he he's like a big like <laughs> i couldn't think of the word <laughs> Sexual icon. <laughs> I mean, sex symbol. <laughs> sexual icon. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, he's like this good looking guy. He's like a sex symbol and stuff. But he is such a cute dork. Like both independently, because you can tell he's just so excited by all this. When they're like, "Oh my god, did you hear that from over there?" When they're like hunting the Sasquatch, he just looks like he's like 
so excited but like doesn't want to totally show them because these guys are like tough guys yeah. and i find that really cute and then he's also just so he loves his son so much yeah, he's, he's so, so happy to be obviously over the moon to be doing the stuff with with them it is it yeah. is i mean i i joked about it on i did a short-lived show mm-hmm. for the company hunt a killer called mm-hmm. the haunted hunt every sunday i did like a live show and talked about like recent news from the world of like horror and mysteries and stuff yeah and I had I had said many times, not that anyone's paying attention, that I would love to do a show mm-hmm. where uh, uh, us, mm-hmm. like t- as Talk Bomb as a group, mm-hmm. we go places, we go to haunted houses, mm-hmm. and sit down and do shows about why it's haunted, and and mostly not, yeah, just sit down and talk and do comedy shows in haunted houses mm-hmm. and record it and see if we see ghosts, blah 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 blah. Of course we won't, but it'd yeah. be fun. And then the the news came out that Rob Lowe. Mm-hmm. Was going to be doing this show for A&E where he and his sons travel around the country going to haunted houses. Yeah. And I joked on the show when that news came out. I said, this is proof positive that Rob Lowe has been watching my show <laughs> and he stole my idea. And I had only said it like a week earlier. Like it didn't make sense. Yeah. But um, it, it the, the Low Files is even closer to that idea than I thought. When the marketing for yeah. this show originally came out. It was Rob Lowe, John Owen, and Matthew standing like shoulder to shoulder, Ugh. looking at the camera it's with a so full moon serious. behind them, with like that that like dark blue tinge yep. over it that communicates this is going to be spooky. And I was making fun of it because I thought that they were going to try to be edgy and yeah. scary. The show is one of the most charming shows I've ever seen. It I'm not was. a reality TV watcher uh, uh, much, mm-hmm. but uh, this show does everything right. My favorite thing I ever saw on the show, mm-hmm. uh, John Owen and Rob Lowe are driving in their car. Mm-hmm. They're going to go to this, like, I think it's an, an old jail mm-hmm. where they had done, like, hundreds of executions. Mm-hmm. They're going to go sit in the room where people had been hung. Oh, yeah. Hanged. Uh, the problem was Matthew. Yeah. Matthew Lowe wasn't able to join them. He has to stay behind because he's still in school and he has an upcoming exam and he has to study. Yeah. One, I find that very charming. I know that happened a couple times on the show. That it's very real in that way where it's like, yeah, I just can't be on the show. I have to study. He has to, to do focus my on his studies. I like that. Me too. But Rob Lowe and John Owen, mm-hmm. as they're driving, they FaceTime with Matthew to get him into the show some way. Yeah. And they're talking about where they're going to go. And it's it's really the excuse to explain where they're going yeah. and what they're going to do. But as they're talking to him, and we're intercutting to see Matthew Lowe's reactions and talking about like what it's going to be like. And now nah, these ghosts are probably like, it's 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 garbage. It's not true. But yeah. like it is a very like dark place steeped in like a, a really macabre history. Yeah. And as they're talking about all of this stuff, John Owen goes, oh my gosh, that's a huge goose. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Looking off to the side of the road. And we can't cut to it because it's not a – it's not <laughs> totally. like a, a crazy produced scripted show. And yeah. Rob Lowe goes, Matthew, there is a gigantic goose <laughs> down so here. so cute. And then they just start talking about how they saw a huge goose on the side of the road for a while. We never uh. see it. And I was like, bam, that's where the show lives. Like that's what the show is about. That's what I wanted us to do. That's what I wanted Talk Bomb to do. Yeah. Is like, yeah, it's all like – it's all about the scary stuff, but it's also just kind of being like, what? what? No, that's stupid. No, that's probably not true. You can't even drive the car right. Like, you're just like yelling at each other for like garbage nonsense. In one episode, they're talking about Bigfoot and doing Bigfoot calls. Yeah. And Rob Lowe is driving this giant SUV. They come to a part where it's like, there's no, like, there's like a tree across the road or something like that. Uh-huh. So he has to put the car in reverse to back out. And the kids are standing around the car going like, Back it up, Dad. Back it up. And then we cut to the GoPro on the inside of the windshield of Rob Lowe trying to back up, looking over himself. (laughs) And there's tree limbs because he's kind of driving too close to the tree line. There are tree limbs coming in through the window and just like hitting him in the face on the way back. And they're going like, Dad, what are you doing? What are you doing, Dad? It's like, it's like I don't know, maybe 45 seconds out of the show. Yeah. But like that's the most important part of the show to me. It is so great. So good. I like all of it. I can, yeah. it, Oh, I like all of it. Yeah, yeah, but I'm yeah. saying like – No, I know. The bickering off-topic moments are my favorite. Well, it's also so – they like mess with each other sometimes. Like when they're doing ghost investigations, like there was a part where Rob Lowe was – in basically, I guess you would say like a basement or something. And so they can see him with night vision cameras, but he can't see anything. It's totally dark. And they're like, oh, my God, let's mess with them and tell them that there's like a huge rat and not to move. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so like, they're doing his face is just like so scary. <laughs> it's, like, it's great. It's so good. Guys, watch the low files. Yeah, I, I highly advocate the low files. It's on A&E. 
It's incredibly enjoyable. It really is. And like I said, I don't know about a second season. I'm, I'm concerned because John Owen said that like tonight's the final chapter for the low files and it seemed more final than him saying like for season one. Right. That was yeah. nowhere in there. So I don't know if they got renewed. Yeah. I don't know. But you know, if they didn't, I've had a great ride in these eight episodes, nine counting tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I assume your, your voice reached like comedic <laughs> pitch of like. I'm like a nerdy fan. I'm so happy to meet you. Oh, get a hold of yourself. If I met get a hold of yourself. If I met Rob, John Owen, and Matthew, I don't know what I would do with myself. If they rolled into my small town to investigate something, and they came into my donut shop, I would go insane. Oh, every episode they like talk about like they're like they love. All right, I know what we have to do next. Yeah, we have to get something to eat. Yeah, <laughs> they have like protracted scenes Snacks. of them like. Sometime. Selecting something to eat from a menu. Oh, it's so <laughs> it's, good. It's God, awesome. this makes me want to go and watch all of it. They sometimes FaceTime their mom slash his wife and mess with her. Yeah. Which is very cute. They did that on this last episode. Spoiler alert. They mess with her about the idea of ticks Ooh. in the woods that they're going into. They're like, yeah, so we have the medical unit is going to be there when we get there. And she's like, what? Why? And he's like, well, the ticks. We have to, you know, we're, he's like, but we're going to have a full examination. Like, we're going to be on top. And she's like, not into it and then they say something at the town she's like i know you're messing with me but i still don't like it it's just the whole thing is cute that's awesome and he's been with his wife for 25 years which i like that is nice yeah that's very nice Uh, she has a jewelry line that's interesting Uh, what can you um yeah uh uh there's a weird episode where they interview a lady who has been struck by lightning over a hundred times i love that and she starts (laughs) saying things to rob Lowe that are curious yeah she says that he was abducted or something when he was four, but he doesn't remember it. Yeah. And and he goes, I was? And she goes, yes, you were. You were. <laughs> and he's like, okay. And he kind of looks in the camera and yeah. smiles a little bit. Smiles at but his son's. But being sons. very polite to her. Incredibly polite. Yeah, 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 But he's kind of looking at his kids like, "Can you? did you hear that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is wild. Yeah. Yeah. And then, I care what she says. I don't she, know that, she says something about his root. Yes. She, she says... When lightning strikes the ground, it turns like some of the dirt into glass. Uh huh. And she said that you're supposed to take this mineral or whatever. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, or it like petrifies wood yeah. or whatever. You're supposed to take this mineral and put it by your root, right. which is your wiener. And <laughs> well, Rob Lowe, I mean, yeah, Rob but goes, I think she my root. <laughs> like, she's like, yeah. I mean, I think she means root chakra, which is also right, like in the region of your wiener. Okay, it still completely works. Well, um, it's amazing. Yeah, well, it, it, it's the region that matters. <laughs> completely, it was so good. Later in the episode, they're standing around a fire, and he goes, "All right, here we go." And he gets up the mineral, and they go, "Dad, <laughs> gross, Dad." And he goes, "She told me to do it." <laughs> And he's with this total air of like, this is really going to annoy my kids <laughs> when I put Completely. this mineral in my underwear. <laughs> Completely. it's I'm supposed to. <laughs> Putting a weird rock. Also, he has a shaman. It's like Shaman Steve or something. Yeah. In the first episode, he's like, all right, we better call my shaman, <laughs> which implies that he's had the shaman forever. Completely. He just is my shaman. Yep. Ugh. I don't have anything like that. I wouldn't, I, I couldn't be like. Yeah, my milkman. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I don't have oh, yeah. a person that I would be like, that's my blah, blah. Yeah, me neither, really. I barely have a doctor. <laughs> I guess I have a mailman. Would you really be like, that's work, my mailman, Jeff? At work, I would. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, fair enough. I don't know his name. I don't know. I know him visually. Okay. I know I have to scramble to put my shoes on when he comes to the door. All right, why are your shoes off? Because I'm in my own office. <laughs> what? I don't like that. I don't like that. The door is closed. I don't care. I don't like wearing shoes. You were sh- you really like wearing shoes. <laughs> what a weird thing to say. You always have them on. What an outlandish like, w- claim. Within the home. That's not an outlandish claim. I haven't seen your feet in years probably. You really like wearing shoes. <laughs> it's not the outlandish. What does that mean? Uh it means exactly what it means. It's a funny thing to say because it's weird to note. But it's not outlandish in any way. No, it's outlandish. I, I like hearing what any – anytime somebody says something about what I think about something, about uh-huh. what I like, what I don't like about things, uh-huh. I feel like it's never on the money. Okay. Why are you always wearing shoes? I don't know. There's not a reason. you love them. I, I guess. See, it's just – It's so weird to me that you don't come home and kick off your shoes. Uh, I, sometimes like, I do. Huh, okay. Sometimes I go right down to the skeevies. I feel like very – very rarely. Well, usually, like, I just I just roll from one thing to the next, to be honest. Yeah. I'll tell you, but, you want to hear yeah. a really weird thing about well, your me? Your piggies breathe. Here's a really weird 
weird fact about me. What? At the end of a, a long day, mm-hmm. one of those days where I, I didn't take my shoes off when I came home, yeah. one of those days where I probably like either sit down and play video games yeah. at Will Rogers 2000 on PlayStation, I got Friday the 13th, the game, and Dead by Daylight hit me up. Nice. Um, eventually, when I go to bed... When I'm taking off my shoes, mm-hmm. I have a very See, that's weird. that's telling. It's weird that you're taking off your shoes before you go to bed. Like most people come in and they take off their shoes, you know? Let's get a poll going. <laughs> most people, those sound like fighting I re- words. I really think so. I don't know. It really is strange anyway. Have you ever been in like an airplane or been in a car and talked yourself into being claustrophobic? Yeah. And been like. Wow, I can't really I couldn't I couldn't leave if I chose to right now. Oh, and that, you start to feel claustrophobic until you go like, why am I doing this to myself? Just sh- stop it. Just that's my whole it. thing with planes, yeah. And then you settle in again and you're fine, mm-hmm. right? I do that with my shoes at the end of the day. <laughs> I'll go like, my feet are so hot. Like I feel like I can't move my toes. Yeah, cuz you've been wearing shoes for like 18 hours. And I'll start to like feverishly scramble to take them off <laughs> as fast as possible because I start talking myself into being like my toes are like like trapped. I can't even move my toes. <laughs> <laughs> that's ridiculous. I would say that's 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 how like most days end for me. <laughs> it's like panicking about taking off, off my shoes. Why don't you take off your shoes when you come in? Maybe I do have like a shoe complex. That's what I'm saying. What you you're always wearing shoes. You, I feel like I'm always coming in and commenting on them, or I notice that you're wearing them or something. Like they're frequently because uh, it's weird in your house to be wearing like your full outfit from work. You're still fully dressed from work. It's like almost ten o'clock. It's 9.30. Yeah, that's that was an exaggeration. You're right. That's true. But really, like, it's weird that you don't come home and, like, change or even just take off your shoes. <laughs> All right. I'm going to change my play clothes now. <laughs> I know. It's funny. But I do. Not every single day. But, like, you're wearing a full-on tie and shirt buttoned all the way up. Your fucking work shoes are on. I am very you're, hot right You're wearing now. a belt. Like, you're always dressed like this when I come over. It's I know. weird. I've said at work we have uh, Casual Friday. Yeah. As long as as long as long you, like, donate to a charity yeah. or something, you can opt into Casual Friday, which I find interesting. Uh-huh. Um, and uh, I never I never participate. <laughs> I mean I, – I donate. I donate to the ACLU yeah. uh, uh, regularly. Yeah. Like, it's like an automatic mm. blam. But I never – I couldn't even tell you the last time yeah. I went to work, like in jeans and sneakers. I mean, or if you like, like it, it's fine. It's it. It's not your outfits that I find odd. It's that you don't <laughs> loosen it up when you get home. <laughs> I guess like there, you're in full work gear. There's something like until you go to bed. About, like you know, like there's like the joke of like when a guy loosens his tie and yeah. un- unbuttons the top button. You're like, what? You, what is it like <laughs> happy hour right now? Yeah. I find that way more uncomfortable and weird than just being like. I don't know. I've I get been that, doing this but it's day. just weird that I don't know. Like I again, I don't know about maybe not most people, but I don't know. Like put on something more comfortable. Like if I'm not wearing, if my work clothes are in any way constrictive, like any way, then actually always I would say I I didn't change just now because I knew I was coming here. If I come home from work and I'm not doing anything for the rest of the night, it's like instant change of clothes yeah. into. Like yoga pants and uh, a t-shirt or whatever. You know, at first it's constrictive, but after a while it becomes, <laughs> becomes a part, part of you. you. Right, yeah. Uh, I was going to take my shoes off live on the show, <laughs> but I wasn't watching what I was doing. And uh, fumble fingers over here. <laughs> I did that thing where you kind of uh, pull the wrong part and then you end up just kind of like – Tighter? Making a knot. So you're starting to freak out because you get claustrophobic about your shoes? No, I'm fine. <laughs> uh, but yeah, now I'm like – I'm locked into my shoes. So. Oh, boy. Uh, <clears throat> we right, will we not better... disprove the myth. Yeah. We're not going to bust this myth on That's the show. That's right. So, guys, it's a fact now. William loves shoes. Or guys, whatever I said. Loves wearing shoes. What do you need to know about me? <laughs> I love wearing shoes. <laughs> That's what I'd say. You're obsessed. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, go get... out there. Watch the low files. Uh, please Send do. me some loafers. And I'll wear them on the show. Absolutely. Because he loves wearing shoes. That's right. He loves wearing shoes. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the show. Yep. Uh, we'll be back next week. We're going to talk about Afterlife Archie and the Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. That's right. Mm-hmm. We'll do some comic books again. Yeah. It's been a long time. I know. Damn long. It's time to come home. Cool. Uh, so that's next week. Uh, as of right now, how are you guys doing? How yeah. you feeling? Yeah. Let us know. We're yeah. online. I'm at Chillin' Kristen on Instagram and Twitter. I'm at Haunted Sponge and at Will Rogers 2000. Stay tuned to add Talk Bomb for all your Talk Bomb needs. That's right. And until next we meet, good talk, gang. Meeting adjourned.
Cool. Clear. We did it. Cool. Hey, everyone. Thanks again for listening to the show. If you enjoyed this episode, you should consider going to our website, www.talkbomb.com, where we have archived every show we've ever done. You can also visit our bonus show store, where we sell exclusive episodes of our podcasts for 50 cents a piece, not to mention our merchandise. If you enjoy Talk Bomb, the best thing you can do is help us spread the word. Tweet, share, review. We would greatly appreciate anything you can do to spread the word. Please also consider following us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, where we're at TalkBomb. Following us online is the best way to keep up to date with our productions. More than anything, we just hope you enjoyed the show. So thanks again for listening, and we'll see you at TalkBomb.com. Talk Bomb.